Growing Plants Classify Science Children Growing plants is important as our life depends largely on them Plants and plants product help us to meet our everyday needs That is why we need to grow more plants Plants are amazing. They can grow not only from seeds but also from roots, stems and leaves. Let us learn growing plants from seeds. If you eat an apple or an orange, you will find seeds inside them. New plants can grow from these seeds. Let us have look at the structure of a bean seed given in this picture. This is the outside structure of a bean seed. The outer covering is called as seed coat. It protects the baby plant inside the seed. The seed coat has a tiny hole through which the seed gets water this is an inside structure of a bean seed seed leaves or cotyledons store food for the baby plant germination the process by which a seed produces a new plant is called germination Not all seeds germinate into new plants. Some seeds are eaten up by birds and insects. Some gets destroyed by the rain or wind. While some seeds do not get the right condition to germinate. All seeds need air, water and warmth to germinate into seedling. If a seed does not receive any one of the three it will not germinate Now let us learn stages of germination in a bean seed First stage is the seed gets air water and warmth The seed soaks up water seed coat breaks and the root emerges The new plant develops roots and shoots. As the plant grow in size, it develops leaves. The cotyledons shrinks and disappear. During the early stages of germination, the seedling gets the food required for its growth from the cotyledons. After the food stored in cotyledons has been used up leaves grow out of the seedling and begin to prepare food The seedling absorbs water and nutrients from the soil with the help of its roots Air which is required for germination also reaches the seed through pores in the soil it develops leaves and grows into a new plant that is why soil is so important for plant growth what will happen if you sow many seeds too close to one another after they germinate they will compete for air water light nutrients and space to grow As a result many of them would die In order to ensure that the seeds of plants do not grow too close to one another many plants naturally scatter their seeds by different means Let us learn the process of dispersal 
the process by which seeds are scattered away from the mother plant is called dispersal now let's see some ways of seed dispersal first is dispersal by wind seeds of certain plants are very light and having wing like structure these seeds can be easily carried away by the wind from one place to another examples are maple and dandelion seeds dispersal by water seeds of plants such as lotus and coconut are spongy and have fibrous covering which help them to float on water water carries these seeds from one place to another dispersal by animals some seeds such as cockleber have spines or hooks these seeds stick to the bodies of animals and birds and are thus carried away from mother, from the mother plant this is a seed of cockleber plant birds and animals eat fruits of various plants undigested seeds of these fruits pass through their digestive systems intact and are dispersed to other areas dispersal by explosion the fruits of some plants such as peas and beans burst open when they are ripe scattering the seeds in all direction this method of seed dispersal is called as explosion growing plants from roots food is stored in the roots of carrot radish turnip beetroot and dahlia new plants can grow from these roots growing plants from stems we can eat stems of certain plants such as the potato and ginger new plants can grow from these stems in case of the rose hibiscus and money plant new plant can grow from the stem cutting of the mother plant growing plants from the leaves the bryophyllum leaf has many birds on its margin new plants arise from these birds when the bird fall on moist soil agriculture the practice of growing plants on a large scale for food or other purposes is called agriculture plants that are grown in large quantities in a particular area or region during a particular season are called crops crops need water and nutrients from the soil to grow well nutrients are provided by manures and fertilizers specific fertilizers provide one or more nutrients whereas manures generally improve soil fertility by increasing humus content crops need protection from birds insects rats and pests before and after harvesting they are sprayed with pesticides to protect them from pests and other harmful animals farmers also use scarecrows to scare away birds from fields where crops are grown let us have look on stages of agriculture the field is plowed manures or fertilizers are added to the soil seeds are sown then the crops are irrigated it means watered the crops are sprayed with chemicals called pesticides to protect them from pests and the crops are harvested in hilly regions people grow crops by cutting steps into the mountain side this is known as step farming or terrace farming a particular crop may grow well in one season 
and may not grow that well in another season that is why farmers grow different crops in different seasons crops grown from june to october are known as kharif crops these crops depend largely on the monsoon rains examples of such crops are rice and maize crops grown from november to april are called rabi crops these crops do not depend on the monsoon rains examples are wheat and legumes let us have quick summary on this chapter plants can grow not only from seeds but also from roots stems and leaves if a seed gets the right amount of air water and warmth it will produce a new plant or seedling plants need to scatter their seeds in order to ensure that too many do not grow too close to one another wind water and animals help in the dispersal of seeds crops need to be protected from birds insects rats and pests before and after harvesting thank you for watching please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated your comments and suggestions are valuable to us